For this program, we'll look at how to set up a flex sensor using the MakeCode software. The first thing that we will need to identify is what type of event handler we will be using for this program. Since we will want this program to run continuously, we'll go and take our basic drawer and we are going to select a forever event handler. This means that our program will continuously run until we decide to turn it off. The second thing we'll need to do is to create a variable that will then be assigned to read a value of one of the pins. So under our variable drawer, we're going to need to make a new variable and we'll name this flex sensor. Now once that variable is made, it still has no assignment. So we are going to need to set that flex sensor to zero to be able to read one of our pins. So under our advanced drawer, we're going to select our pins. And since the flex sensor is an analog pin, we will want to be able to read that value. So we will select analog read pin and we will replace that to the number zero. So now our variable flex sensor is going to read whichever variable or value is assigned to the analog read pin zero. From here, we have three things that we want to have happen. If the value is greater than 965, we see a happy emoji. If the value is between 955 and 965, we'll see an X on the micro bit. And if the value is lower than 955, we should see an unhappy emoji. Now, there are several ways that we can do this program, but the easiest way is to identify an if, an else if, and an else statement. So we will select our logic, and from there, we will select an if else statement. By clicking on the plus sign below, that will add an additional else if statement for us. Now here we have two conditions that we must look at, our if statement and our else if. The first if statement we are going to look at is if the value is greater than 965, we should see a happy emoji. So if this statement becomes true at any point, we should see that happy emoji. So we'll use a show icon and we'll change that to a happy emoji. Now for the logic statement. Here, since we're using a comparison, we're going to select the logic and select a comparison block. Here we have if zero is less than zero, then we see a happy emoji. We'll replace that first zero with our variable flex sensor. Now our statement reads, if the flex sensor, which is reading the value of pin zero, is less than zero. In this case, we want our less than to be switched to a greater than, and that value should be 965. Now, at any point, if the flex sensor or pin zero is greater than 965, we should see a happy emoji. For our else if statement, we have if the value is between 955 and 965, we see an X, or if the value is lower than 955, then we see an unhappy emoji. What I like to do with this is let's take that else if statement and use another logic. We're gonna use another zero is less than zero, and again, we'll grab that variable flex sensor and add that to the first block. So now we have an else if the flex sensor, which is pin zero, is less than 955. We should go ahead and see an unhappy emoji. So we can go ahead and duplicate our happy emoji and drop it in. And let's go ahead and switch that to an unhappy emoji. So now, if we have a value greater than 965, we should see happy emoji. If we have less than 955, we should see unhappy emoji. So we can see that on our emulator. Now for the else statement. We have a comparison that is between two different values. If it is between 955 and 965, we should see an X. By identifying our if statement and our else if, if neither one of those are true, then the value must be between 955 and 965. So for there, we'll go ahead and drop in our LEDs and we will create an X. Now, at any point, if our program is between those two values, we should see that X. So as you can see, we have zero, we go up, we get 10th at 1023, and anything that is in between those two values, 965 and 955, you should see your X.